Hello, I am Jenna. And I'm Ro. And welcome Shit. to uh, on three. One, two, three. Building 101. Building 101. Today we're gonna be making a cottage core cottage house. Do you want more Minecraft videos? Well, I have the product for you. Introducing new iJenna's YouTube channel. According to YouTube statistics, this product is the best there is. Just look at those stats. And for a limited time only, this product is absolutely free. All you have to do is press that subscribe button. Terms and conditions may apply. Call 1-800-SUB-TO-ME for more information. Ugh. So the first thing is to decide what location you want your house to be in. What location did we pick? We picked a um, brown oak forest. Yes, we did. And now your second step is to pick what color you want your floor to be. Now, cottage core has a very specific vibe, and that's why we're going to be using warped high fei. How do you say this? What is it? Warp anus? Warp high I think it's warp. There's not warp, an S in that. Warp, 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 warp high foot. High hi, 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 Oh. So we're gonna put this in here to make our floor. Um, our house is going to be shaped kind of like in that cottage feel that you would have if you were like um, a young child walking through a forest. And if there was, like, a witch there that was going to eat you. Hey, um, Ro? Yeah. This up? is supposed to be just the floor. Oh. Okay, so now we're going to do the walls. Because this is going to be a friendship cottage, we're going to do um, striped walls with a block of our choosing. So I picked this very, very cute um, target block. The The circles are very cottage core chic because <laughs> they look like the flowers that you might find in a cottage. What block did these you choose, Ro? Shut up, these are going to look so good together. <gasps> Ro! Oh my god. See, this they is They both why... have like targets, you know? Like targets, yes. you know? This is what a healthy friendship gets you is that you just become on the same level as your friend. Okay, so now we're going to do stripes. So, Ro, you can start with that way, and I'll start this way. Okay. Hey, I think you missed a spot over here. Oh, my bad. Yeah, no, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, my bad. And, and, and over here, and over here. Maybe, Maybe one more. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Okay, now that we have our walls done, we're going to do a floor treatment for this high fascia. So if you right click this with an axe like this, um, it does something cool like that. Yeah. And it looks different. So we're going to do this floor treatment. Um, Ro, why don't you show them how to do it? Demonstrate for us, please. So you just... You... um. You have your your hoe and you just you write my I think I think my mouse is broke yeah like that yeah good job okay yeah. so now now we're going to do the floor treatment um it doesn't really matter where you do this this is really just up to you and your friend when you're building your friendship cottage so just use your friendship and it'll help you figure it out yeah follow your friendship good job bro you did a great job on this floor treatment. Now for the next step of your cottage core friendship house, you're going to be using um, an end portal frame to make your roof. I really like to use these because they're not like the same height as other blocks. As you can see, like right here, they're a little bit shorter. So they add some good dimension to your mm -hmm. house. When you're building your roof, it's important for part of it to be higher than the other part. So it actually looks like a roof, like so. So, we're going to use these to build our roof. This is really good. I really like how this is coming along really well. 
while we're building our roof, I think it's a good time to do a friendship Q&A. Ro, Ooh. do you know, as my, Ro, as my friend, what is my favorite color? As your best friend, I know that your favorite color is turquoise. That is such a good answer, but it's not correct. My, my favorite color is it's purple. No, it's not. It's literally... It, it's purple. <laughs> it's literally... What? Next, we're going to be making windows. So we're going to be using cobwebs for our windows because they provide like this cool little light effect where you can't really see to the outside. And I feel mm -hmm. like if you were to find a cottage, there would probably be some cobwebs in it because spiders are very cottage core. This is mm -hmm. why we're. This is and why. And they we're also using. they stop the they stop the spiders from getting into the home. Uh huh. Because the spiders already think that there's actually another spider already living there. So mm -hmm. it, this way they leave you alone. Did you know spiders can't go through their own webs? Why would I know that? I was really hoping you'd fall. Yeah, I mean, I am. I'm. I'm getting there. I'll. I'll get there eventually. So. I'm almost there. Okay, I I've stopped. So now we're going to introduce you to actually a really So you can actually use a uh, coral to make a shag rug effect on your floor. Ro will now demonstrate what that looks like now. Notice how when she places it, it kind of looks like a shag rug that you would find in like a 70s home. This is a super cool building tip because it just really elevates your house. And it just looks really neat. It's that looks really good, Ro. I, thank you. That looks awesome. It's color changing. Uh huh. Sometimes when you place the coral down, it likes to change color. It's kind of like a mood ring for your home. Ro, what does gray mean? Gray. Yeah. What happy. it happy means happy. So now we're going to make our door for our cottage and we're going to do this kind of a special way and this way is actually really cool because it allows you to have a space between your door um, and the end like the little redstone thing that opens the door like that so that way if I'm like a zombie and I'm walking up to your house I can't just walk in. Yeah. You get it? Ro, why don't you be a zombie for me? Here I'll go inside and you can pretend to be a zombie. Okay. Ready? Are you ready? Yep, I'm ready. See? Just like that. I hey, uh can't, and, I can't get and in. um and um um since you since you uh uh we uh and then you can you just get out in. this way. You you can just get out this way. Yeah, no, I I, I got you. Just like that. And then if I want to come inside, I just, you know. You want me to let you in? No, yeah, please, please. I, uh, yeah, I, I can't get in. Let me, let me, like, here, here. Okay. Here, we can both get in. Yeah. Oh. Oh, do, do you want me to, do you want me to let you in? Hold on. I'm on yeah. my way. Um, hey, Ro? Alright, so now it's time to talk decor. So the inside of your house is just as important as the outside. Um, our first piece of decor we're going to show you how to make is a little fish tank, because fish are just super, super fun to have in your home, and they just add a little bit of spice. So Save how I like- Save the planet. What? S Save- So how I make my fish tank is I like to place- um, some, some barriers just to make sure the water doesn't get out. And then, um, I like to fill my tank up with water. And Ro actually has a fish ready for us to go yeah. inside of our tank. I'll give him a friend. Um, hey Ro. Yeah. What's up? I... Oh, he got out. Oh. Oh, he's going through the web. I thought, 
I thought but only spiders can not go through webs. Ro, I thought I thought mobs weren't supposed to be able to get in through those. I thought they weren't. They're not mobs. They're fish. Oh no, you're right. You know you're right. Okay, so the next thing we're going to make for the inside of our house is going to be a little flower holder because if you know anything about cottage core, it's that flowers are the most important part. They are really important to your cottage core house. Do you under the okay environment? Okay, so we're gonna make our table. Um, I like to use stairs to kind of mimic that table leg, and then I fill I fill slabs in in the middle. Um, Rose gonna put down some flowers for us. Okay. Ta-da! So every house needs a good armchair to sit in. Um, so to make an armchair, you need to have like two, two, um, oh. two, two, um, arm. Hey, can you move? Do you, do you mind me to move? Yeah, yeah, no, just just a little bit too. Yeah, thank you. I um, mean, oh. you, you need you need to have two. Uh, so you're going to need two armrests. Can can you move again? Oh, sorry. Just just a little bit more. Oh, yeah, like there. And then you'll need um, a back of your chair so that you can you can sit down. Like like that. That looks really good. Have a seat, Ro. Show us how it works. I'm sitting. So we realized that our door didn't work very well. It, it just wasn't very efficient. And that happens a lot when you build things. You just kind of realize things don't work. And that's okay. Sometimes you just got to switch it up. So um, we're going we're gonna to actually take this stuff away here. Uh-huh. And we're going to replace it with, um, with just like a, a super simple button activated door. All right, we are officially finished with our Woo. friendship cottage core house. Woo. It looks really great. I'm really happy with how it came out. Our friendship definitely got stronger while we were building this. Um, yeah. I I love Rose <laughs> so much. We are we are BFFs for life, right? We are two two um two peas in a pod. Yes, we are. We have our cute little striped friendship walls, yes. our end stone portal roof, um, our f cobweb windows, and it just looks really great. Let's go take a look oh. at the inside. It's gonna look really nice in here. We have the rug oh my God. and I'm the so and, oh. and I got locked out. It looks like our house just blew up. I didn't realize that zombies could do that. Um. Anyways, thank you for watching our okay. Ready on three, one, two. Cottage core friendship for, house friendship building. Cottage build tips one hundred and one, part two. We got a number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite. We about to get down. Get down. Ten kills on the board right now. <laughs> <laughs> This fucking thing. I just wiped out Tomato Town. My friend just gone down. I revived him. Now we're heading southbound. Now we're in the Pleasant Park Street. Look at the map. Go to the mark sheet. Take me to your Xbox to play Fortnite today.